Everyone seems to go to either Cancun or Tulum. But what's the deal with Playa del Carmen? I'm sorry, but this doesn't even seem real right now. This is so beautiful. It's like nice right on the water. Welcome to Playa del Carmen. We are so excited to be back at the beach and finally be back in tropical weather. <laughs> and it is hot. Really hot. <laughs> and if we're being completely honest with you, we only booked a place in Playa del Carmen for a month because of the proximity to all these other things in the area that we really wanted to do and see. So we didn't actually really research anything about Playa before yeah. coming here. So we're just really excited to explore today and see what it has to offer. And what better way to start in Playa del Carmen than right in the middle of Playa del Carmen. So this is Parque Los Fundadores. And apparently this was like the very first town square here in Playa del Carmen. So and it is so yeah. beautiful. I can't believe it. It's like when you first arrive at it, it all looks down at the ocean yeah. and the water is so blue. It has this beautiful archway. This is just, yeah, it's really beautiful. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> going on they have a bunch of incense and drums and yeah with the background of the ocean it's just it's really cool mm, feel that caribbean breeze there how nice is that <laughs> it's so humid it's crazy how like your skin just feels so salty totally. and wet all the time in Playa del Carmen. <laughs> so different. It's funny. I like it though. Yeah, it feels good. nice. Yeah. Mm, wind in my hair. Looks great. Amazing. Starting at Parque Fundadores is actually just a great idea in general because you have access to so much. You have this beautiful white sand beach. You also have the ferry that goes to Cozumel. And then there's also Fifth Ave, which we're about to go to. And you have access to all the taxis that can take you pretty much anywhere that you want to go within town and outside of town as well. And better yet than taking taxis is taking buses and colectivos up the whole coast. We actually took this bus line, ADO, from the airport to here, and it was super easy, 250 pesos. It's a nice charter bus, definitely the way to go instead of taking a taxi. We have found the crowds <laughs> here at Fifth Avenue. It's, yeah, it's always so crazy us coming from less touristy places. I mean, I know we go to touristy places too, but in Acapulco and Oaxaca, it was definitely a lot less foreign tourists there. And so it's always so surprising when we come to places where there's a lot more English and yeah, just foreign travelers. It's almost like a reverse culture shock <laughs> yeah, or something. That's right. I mean, we are definitely a part of that. Yeah. We are uh, <laughs> definitely foreign travelers, but it's, we're just not used to it. Yeah. <laughs> You are ridiculous. Are you embarrassed to be around me? Extremely embarrassed to be around Are you embarrassed? You. I feel like the crowds really aren't our vibe, but coming to Fifth Avenue definitely feels like a rite of passage. There's like so much going on. Everybody's trying to sell you stuff and it's actually just really fun. It seems like there's also just like a lot of stuff to do around Fifth Avenue. There's tons of different stores and shops and just like, I don't know, different like museums and stuff. So definitely cool to check that out. I have a feeling it's going to get even crazier at night. So yeah, I think that's we're going right. to come back tonight and just kind of see what it's like. But I have a feeling <laughs> it's going to be a whole other world then. Oh, yeah. I am so hungry. So we're going to try to find this beach club before Sarah gets hangry. Before? We're... I'm not hangry yet. It already happened. Excuse me. <laughs> we're close. Two minute walk, it says. <laughs> This is where it is, but it feels a little awkward. We're like walking through a hotel right now. Beautiful though. This place is so beautiful. 
beautiful. It's like right on the water and it's so quiet and so we can just sit wherever. So it's so cool. One thing that has made these adventure days so much easier has been having an unlimited data plan. We have been using an eSIM from Olify for the last couple of months and they have been so great. They have unlimited data plans that are very reasonably priced and they're perfect for any length of travel. Whether you're a vacationer or a full-time traveler, it's honestly perfect because you can have dual SIM cards within your phone because it's an eSIM. So you can have your SIM card from at home that you deactivate so you don't get any roaming charges when you're traveling. And then you can just activate the Olify unlimited data plan for whatever length of travel you have. So if this sounds like something that could be useful for you, make sure to click the link in the description or use our code Eric and Sarah for 5% off and they'll send you a QR code. You add it into your phone, activate it, and enjoy unlimited data wherever you go. Hamburguesa. Aquí, porfa. Gracias. Wow. Ooh, this looks so good. I got a bootable. Look how colorful this is. That's crazy. And a margarita, of course. Had to. I had to. Wow, this looks so good. <laughs> had to make it weird. <laughs> Again, this is one of those things where I feel really bad when I come to places in Mexico. Sometimes I really, really want Mexican food, but other times I just want a good burger, you know? That's all I want. So, so basic. And some yam fries. I haven't had yam fries in I don't know how long. Wow, you are basic. So basic. I don't care. I just want it. Pull up from Mexico. <laughs> Very, very good, and honestly, very reasonably priced. Yeah, for being right on the beach, that was amazing. Absolutely. But now that we're fed, it's time for a real adventure. <laughs> Walking all over the place just trying to find a collectiva <laughs> right now. We thought we knew where they left from, but there wasn't really anything there, so. We're just going to the highway. Yeah. Straight to the source. Who knows? So we're all saying Centro on them. Okay. Oh my goodness. How do we miss that? I know, it's like a whole thing. <laughs> We've been trying to figure out where to go and all the collectivos just keep going like this, <laughs> pointing us with their thumbs. And we're like, I don't know what that means. Well, it means probably this like collectivo depot place. Where they all are. Where they all are. This would make a lot of sense actually. Dos de azul. Welcome to the Colectivo experience. This is the great part about this the side of Mexico is there's just like one main highway up and down and you can just catch a Colectivo up and down at any point. It's pretty awesome and I mean, it's very hot on this bus, but it's cheap, gets you where you need to go. Honestly, I feel like these kind of things make me nostalgic for like our early, early days of traveling when we were in Ecuador and we would just hop on buses that just kind of went anywhere. So we were just total noobs and we would just stand on the side of the road with all of our backpacks and just kind of wait to hop on a bus. And yeah, it makes me sad, but this is perfect. Brings me right back to that. <laughs> You got everything? I think so. Okay, you had another reason to have a data plan so you can keep track of your own location. <laughs> yeah, we overshot it just a little bit, yeah, but little not bit. too bad. No. Just have to walk on this it's highway now. It's a good thing you just yelled out. Yeah. Cenote! Cenote soon! <laughs> so, if you don't know, Cenotes are one of the coolest like geological features out there. Mm -hmm. They're just basically giant tunnels in the ground that fill up with water. They're like big sinkhole it's, pools. Yes, exactly. And along the Yucatan Peninsula and this whole area, there are tons of them. I, I think there's like literally hundreds, maybe even yes. thousands of them. I don't, there's tons, tons here. And they're very sacred to the Mayan people around here. So they're owned by them and yep. they often have an entrance fee, but they're just really beautiful. So we're going to one today that's called Cenote Azul. This is one of the more popular ones because it's really easy to access, yep. but we will be making a full video comparing a bunch of other ones later in this series. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. 
That's right. And look at this already. Oh look at my this. goodness. This is beautiful. These are so <gasps> gorgeous. Whoa. Where are all the people? This is beautiful. Wow. I can't believe the color of these. It's like turquoise. Awesome. I'm so amazed. This is so beautiful. Look, there's another one on the other side already. This is so gorgeous. Probably the coolest part about all of these is that a lot of them are actually just connected underground. Yes. If you are into diving, if you're ready to take the next step aside yes. from diving, you can actually dive through these caves and go to different, like you can start in one cenote and end up in another cenote. Which is insane. insane. Also their big free diving thing because yeah. you can, obviously there's no currents or anything. So to practice free diving, it's a really good place to come because a lot of them are yeah. insanely deep and you can just, yeah, practice your, holding your breath without yeah. the big currents going around. Exactly, but I'm ready to like jump in one of these. Oh, I'm, I'm like, so hot. Yeah. <laughs> insanely cold but it's also like very refreshing you know oh I'm sorry but this doesn't even seem real right now I am in this blue turquoise pool there's all just the most beautiful ferns and foliage around us there's no one else in this pool it's just Eric and I and it doesn't even seem like a real place. Feels like we're in some weird paradise. And I love it. But it just doesn't even seem like... I feel like I'm just gonna wake up, you know, and it's all a dream. The last... Ow! Oh, oh never mind. You know what you're saying? Like, somebody pinch me, this doesn't feel real? Well, I grab this stick. <laughs> Look at these spikes on this thing. <laughs> that was that was a real pinch me moment. It it uh it pinched me and it's still real. So I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm throwing that out there. That was a nice meaningful moment. Ruined by some spikes. Dolphin swim, mermaid swim. Wow, so oh. graceful. Hello. <laughs> Is you it, miss me? Is this me you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That is so beautiful. Look at these ferns right now. Oh, these ones? Look at these ferns. These ones? <laughs> yeah, those ones. That yeah. is so beautiful. Oh. Yeah, your feet are nice too. <laughs> okay, this is a must do around here for sure. Yeah, especially because it's so easy to get to from Plaid Car. The yeah. collective was only 40 pesos each. And yeah, it's honestly like a perfect little afternoon trip. I was I was pleasantly surprised at how nice the cenote was. My yeah. goodness, wow, this yeah. is so cool. Amazing, but we have a few more things to show you in Plaid Car, so we're gonna head back there now. Hurry, let's go! <laughs> Come on, we're racing the sunset! Viva Mexico! <laughs> we got bikes. We are late for sunset. Really wanted to show this beach for sunset that we were supposed to go to. So we're on our way there. We're hoping to get at least a little bit of it. <laughs> but we got these bikes from BC Playa. 
it's basically the same system that we had in Mexico City where you can get a membership or whatever for like a day and it's super cheap and you can just get unlimited bike rides throughout the day. Woo! Pretty solid option. Put it into third gear. We're gonna rip! We're Woo! Turning it up to 11. Look at her go. She's flying. Get it, Sarah. Speed racer. I have no idea what we were thinking. We were <laughs> definitely not going to make it to that sunset of the beach. We picked up our bikes at the second avenue and we had to make it all the way to 84 in about like 15 <laughs> or 20 minutes. We weren't even close. So we, yeah, we basically just came back to the place where we're staying. We're staying like a few streets off of fifth and yeah, good enough sunset on the roof. Yeah, although we still even miss it coming here. So maybe we'll have to come up here another night and overlay a beautiful time lapse it, with I a honestly, beautiful pink It clouds. looks better. It looks better on the camera than it actually does <laughs> here right now. Yeah, it feels it's like it's dark. Really nice. <laughs> Either way, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. But we will be going out again because we don't want to show you what it's like at night. Well, we wanted to show you Fifth Avenue at night, and this is clearly the place to be for nightlife here in Playa del Carmen. <laughs> yeah, there's even more happening at night than there was during the day. <laughs> Definitely, so we just want to show you around and just kind of see where the night takes us. Yeah, we're not big club people and not really big like going out for drink people either, which is definitely the thing to do here. So yeah. we'll see how long we last, but I don't know, I'm excited to just walk up and down. And see already what's going bought, on. yeah, sweet. friend? It's uh, the guy, tequila guy. Tequila? His, guy? What's his name? I don't know. Does he have a name? I don't know. You gotta pick and one. It's gotta be Bert. Yeah, Bert. It's gotta be Bert. <laughs> it's always Bert. It's always Bert. It honestly is so fun coming down here. Like, a lot of people are just trying to get your attention. There's just like street performers. If you ever see a street performer, definitely give them a little bit of money because this is obviously how they're making their living. But uh, yeah, it's just so cool to just see, I don't know, just all this different action. Also, if, sorry, <laughs> if you do have people trying to get your attention, it's okay to just say no thank you and just keep walking. Yeah, you don't, actually they're very respectful They're here. very respectful I feel like here. as soon as you say no, they're just like, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's very fun. Definitely. Very stimulating place to walk. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, a nice full circle moment. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the breeze at the park. Parque Fundadores, that's what it's called, yeah. <laughs> Where we started the day. We started the day, exactly. It's so peaceful over yeah. here, it's nice. You got a little sea breeze going totally. on. We were gonna go get a drink, but we realized <laughs> that we don't really feel like it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're really just like social drinkers. I feel like this would be like the perfect place to come with like friends and family. Totally. But uh, yeah, I don't feel like I really need a drink right now. <laughs> yeah, if you were with a group of people that you are gonna go dancing, have a couple drinks, go for a nice dinner, yeah, it would be fun. really nice. Absolutely. But, I don't know. We hang out enough. <laughs> are we boring? <laughs> yeah, or are we old? Or are we just old? I don't know. I feel like we've always been like this. I don't yeah, think it's an age thing. Definitely. But thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. We have a lot more coming from this area from yeah, Cloud Carmen and the surrounding areas. So absolutely. make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Oh, so salty. <laughs> That'll get your brain going, sort of. <laughs>